gas water heaters, cooking gas, gas heaters, and so on. Gas appliances are not banned in high-rise buildings. Our same include commercial, residential, and office blocks. But most of the high-rise buildings provided by the gas appliances are outside, outside the building. However, when there are gas installations, it is covered by the gas companies complying with, with international gas safety norms. With regard to part C of the question, Sorry. Yeah. Allow, allow the Honourable Minister to put some order in his papers. No, the, no, the draft, Madam Speaker, the draft I have got in my office is different. So, yeah, the draft, yeah. So, yeah. But you should work on, on, on the question, per se, yeah. not on the original draft question which yeah, I to you. So, out of more than, out of more than 50,000 commercial buildings, Throughout Mauritius, 1,314 have not been issued with fire certificate. This is so because they do not comply with the guidelines issued to them. When inspection reveals that commercial buildings are operating without a fire certificate, the Mauritius Fire and Rescue Service proceeds to issue an improvement notice. The improvement notice contains a set of measures required to prevent, detect, and, fire, and fight fire occasions. The owners should comply with those regulations by one month. If there is no improvement, the, fire, the Mauritius Fire and Rescue Service issues a refusal notice and informs the appropriate local authority and over respective authorities. Firefighters, firefighters are properly equipped with personal protective equipment. Firefighters have a wide range of firefighting and rescue equipment, such as breathing apparatus, pumps, branches, ropes and lines, delivery and suction hoses, ladders, extrication and stabilizing equipment, rescue gears, stretchers, foam branches, inline inductors, and thermal image cameras. Firefighters use them depending on the circumstances of the emergency. Madam Speaker, we are conscious about the new challenges posed by high-rise buildings in Mauritius. The vast majority of such high-rise buildings are basically found in port piece and event or of commercial nature. It is only recently that a few applications have been received for high-rise buildings of residential nature. I must stress that strict guidelines by the local authorities and malicious fire and rescue service have been issued for the safety of would be Residents. Further, Madam Speaker, the Mauritius Fire and Rescue Service is in the process of finalizing the Mauritius Fire Code, which will cater for all the fire safety measures in residential, commercial, and industrial buildings. Madam Speaker, the House may wish to note that after the deadly Glenfell Fire in London, I called an urgent meeting to discuss in Mauritius, which have already been issued with fire certificate. Inspection of buildings have been initiated by the Mauritius Fire and Rescue Service. Madame la Présidente, quelle réponse. Ouh. 65 000 personnes travaillent et vivent. I'm going to ask the questions in French. Travaillent et vivent dans les immeubles de grande hauteur, c'est-à-dire les high-rise buildings, de plus de trois étages, Madame la Présidente. Donc, il y a eu ce feu, il y a un mois de cela, Grenfell, 
in, in London, à Londres, est-ce que le ministre a institué une audite physique de tous les maths Non, parce que mon information est qu'il n'y a eu aucune visite dans aucun bâtiment de grande hauteur à l'île Maurice. Madame Speaker, I just mentioned in my answer that after the Glenfell incident in London, I called for an urgent meeting. I have been informed by the uh, fire authority that they are doing needful to survey everywhere in the country. Yeah. Madam Speaker, they are, est-ce qu'ils vont ou est-ce qu'ils ont déjà? La différence là, est-ce qu'ils vont ou est-ce qu'ils ont déjà? Mon information s'est confirmée qu'il n'y a eu aucune audite que le ministre est assis sur son sa chaise. Sur sa chaise. A dit nous c'est. A dit nous c'est ton cas. Non. On a pas dit d'avoir une position. Now you ask your question. You don't have to make these gestures which are not acceptable in Parliament. The gestures you make is not acceptable. Speaker, what is wrong with Assis sur sa chaise? What, what is, what is unparliamentary with Assis sur sa chaise? And if that is the case, will it table a list of, of visits that have been affected, audits that have been affected, and what building in Mauritius? Madam, Madam Speaker, normally I should sit. Normally has every human being. I don't know where he sits, but uh, what I can uh, say to the House, what? Yeah. Don't interrupt, please. Yes. Yes. Madam Speaker. Yes. Madam Speaker, I have been informed by the Deputy Fire Chief Fire Officer that an audit, I don't know if it has been carried out, started yet now. Yes. Auditing has been done with respect to high rise buildings. That is building over the, over the height of uh, eight meters? No. Yeah. No, eight story building. So the, the Mauritius Fire and Rescue Service audit has been done uh, for 288 buildings, information provided to me now. Speaker, so every building, and this is what the fire service is saying, it can easily be checked, and we will come back to that. Madam Speaker, I'd like to ask the Minister whether he is aware that the, bond, the cladding that burned at Grenfell, it was called a Renault Bond SEM, whether this cladding is in use or even in wide use in Mauritius. Madam, Madam Speaker, I want to inform the leader of the opposition. I'm an expert in fire services, so I am looking answer from the department. Yes, builders do not provide such information to the department. Uh, no information until now, uh, only to the building construction. Speaker, I am shocked because the audit is supposed to find out whether this stupid cladding that caused the death of 80 people and 50 still missing, shame on the fire service. This audit is supposed to find out whether uh, this cladding is in use or not in Mauritius and tell me also whether Cyber City 2 uses this type of cladding. Tell me now if you've done the audit. If, uh, if uh, <laughs> Madam Speaker, Yeah. Madam Speaker, if these information are not available now, I will ask the, the Mauritius Fire Rescue Service to do the needful and provide me the in information which I can table later on. Madam Speaker, it is clear that the Minister is being misled. I'll be polite. There has been not a single audit of any single building in Mauritius. Madam Speaker, I will want to come now to if there has been an audit. Have the people been to New Victoria Hospital, the, the new wing? And here I will produce a picture of the fire door that is broken. What has been done about this fire door broken at New Victoria Hospital? And we know that part of the problem at Grenfell was that there were no fire doors in operation. <coughs> Tell me now. Yeah. 
Madam, Madam Speaker, I'm not aware of information, but uh, the leader of the opposition is asking me. I don't know if the, the fire services have any information with regards. No. So they don't have this information. Yeah. I want now to come. I, I would like now to come to a building in Vakwa, Vakwa Road, a nine-floor building, drug group building, a commercial building, a commercial building, Madam Speaker. This building has no fire certificate. It is a commercial building. It has no fire certificate. And when the minister answered his, just now, he, he, he didn't re reply about high-rise commercial buildings. My question is high-rise commercial buildings. It's one of the few high-rise commercial buildings that has no fire certificate, yet it used to have the Minister of Education there. Answer. Madam Speaker, due to a conflict of interest, I won't answer to this question. I will take it as given that there is no, and this, Madam Speaker, could even be a criminal offence, not to, have to put people's lives at risk. And I will also ask the Minister and these, two, these guys who have done the audit whether they are aware that Goliver Building in my constituency in Catalbone has no fire certificate, it was revoked in 2012 and is still in use, that the NPF Building in Rosil has no fire certificate either. Will you reply to that? Madam Speaker, answering to the leader of the opposition, I wish to inform the House that another owner of the building is a company, it's owned to the company, and I will ask the malicious fire rescue service to do the needful and see if, however, he has not any, any, any fire certificate. Madam Speaker, we come now, we have been dealing with commercial buildings. And the minister did not specify in his, in his answer. What is happening with this guy? I can't listen to that Okay, I specify. I am in my, my the train of thought. Don't, don't disturb me. Now. Madam Speaker, we were dealing with commercial buildings, which supposed to have, a, apart from drug group building, are supposed to have a, a fire certificate. Now, what about residential buildings? Fully residential buildings, because Grenfell was not a commercial building, Madam Speaker. It was a residential building. And high-rise buildings are buildings of free flow upwards. And nearly all the NHDC houses, flats, are more than free flows upwards. They are, to my calculation, 15,000 people living daily, living, Question. living daily, obviously, in these type of buildings. Now, can the minister tell us why these buildings don't require any fire certificate, even in the latest guidelines? They don't require, it's a no man's land, and the promoters can do absolutely what they want in these buildings. They are real fire traps and potential blazing infernos. First of all, Madam Speaker, I would, uh, I would, uh, I would like to, to ask the Honorable Leader of the Opposition, he was 12 years in government, not first year, what has he done to remedy this situation? So, I have been informed, I have been informed that every building has a health and safety officer delegated by MCR, Minister of, no, M, M, Minister of Civil Service Affairs. And fire certificate was refused and procedures have been initiated uh, for NDC complex information provided to me. Uh, it's been refused, people are still living there. What is this? Where are we in Banana Republic? What I'm saying, perhaps I should say it in French. Aucun bâtiment résidentiel à l'île Maurice n'a besoin d'un fire certificate. Aucun. Et je demande au ministre si dans son esprit, il ne pense pas, surtout après le feu à Grenfell, 130 personnes morts ou disparues, il n'est pas grand temps pour les, Maurice, pour, pour les habitants de ces, de ces appartements qu'ils aient un fire certificate, parce que quelquefois ils sont au 12e étage, 15e étage. Comment est-ce qu'ils vont se, se faire s'il y a un feu Effectivement, Madame la Présidente, après, après le fait de Londres, j'avais convoqué une réunion, j'avais parlé de tous les « high-rise buildings » et aussi de voir tous les autres bâtiments. Ils m'ont dit qu'ils vont faire un, un audit à travers le pays, et je, et je demanderai aussi pour toutes les maisons si c'est possible. Madam Speaker, come back to this, this so-called audit. Tell me now, from your officers, which residential building you have audited now after Grenfell, because Grenfell was a 100% residential building. 
Madam Speaker, actually, residential buildings do not require any fire certificate up to now. It's true. Turn that up. I've been asking, Madam Speaker, je demande depuis 10 minutes, depuis 10 minutes, je dis au ministre, est-ce que ce n'est pas maintenant grand temps pour qu'il y ait un fire certificate pour chaque bâtiment Est-ce que vous allez agir d'urgence D'urgence, la vie des gens est à risque. Madam uh, Speaker, having, after having listened to, to uh, the question asked by the Honorable Leader of the Opposition, I will look into the matter. Is the Minister aware that there was a fire in a bend only on Saturday? Is he aware in a nine-story building? Without a bit of paper, can you answer that? No, you Madam uh, Speaker, I don't know why the leader of the opposition is so nervous. I am not sitting on my token like him every day. No, but I have been informed by the fire services. MCCI building. Yes. There has been a fire breakout in MCCI building. Information provided to me by the fire services. Say it again, Madam Speaker. The, the fire was at Greenwich University. It only there was no casualty because the, fire, the building was virtually empty at the time. The fire took place in the electrical installation because the material, I presume, that had been used there was not good enough because it is combustible and it's supposed to be not combustible. So this is why, I mean, Minister, what? Can you tell us what on earth are you doing all day long if you don't even know that there was a fire two days ago, in a, a, a potentially dangerous fire two days ago in Eben? Madam Speaker, I wish to inform the leader of the opposition that I am working in this issue and there is a new fire code which will include guidelines for high-rise residential building and all other buildings. We've been talking about the fire code for the last 10 years. So don't come with a fire code. What is simple, a simple legislative amendment should be brought in the finance bill next week to protect people living. And this is what I'm going to suggest, whether the minister will agree next week. Bring the amendment to protect the uh, residential buildings and force every single owner to have uh, 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 the fire certificate. Will he do that next week? Madam, uh, Madam Speaker, I have already answered in my answer before that I am looking into the matter. And if need be, we have to bring any amendments we are going to bring. Don't be in a hurry. If there are any deaths, it will be on his head, Madam Speaker. Let me talk now to, let me talk about now concerning equipment for the fire services. Is he aware that, as he mentioned, that every fire officer there are 702 of them. They put their lives at risk every time they enter into building with fire. And they ought to, it would be our responsibility to give them appropriate equipment so that their lives are not put at risk. Is he aware that from a recent survey by the Firefighters Union, 240, more than a third of the firemen said that their equipment were either missing, destroyed, or defective? Is he aware of that stark fact? Madam uh, uh, Speaker, since I've been minister uh, in January, I had meetings with the two uh, responsible for the uh, syndicate of the Mauritius Fire Rescue Service. Several issues had been raised to me in presence of the uh, chief fire officer and his management and also the human resource and uh, information gathered, uh, provided to me, but needful had been done. Then, uh, information provided now is that regulation uh, promulgated shortly with regard to Mauritius. The new... Uh... I'm sorry, I've not finished his reply. <laughs> I've already answered, Madam Speaker. Because I just mentioned 
what I have been informed by the uh, fire rescue service, what they have been provided with all uh, fire protective equipment now. Information provided to me this morning. Speaker, I'm told that the firefighters union sent him a letter to tell him about the 240 firemen who are putting their lives at risk because they don't have the equipment necessary to protect them. Has he received that letter? M Madam Speaker, I mentioned earlier what I have been told by the two fire union that they have never got any appointment with a chief fire officer. So for that reason, I convened a meeting in my office in presence of these two persons. And we have been looking after all issues, even for the fire protective equipment, also for the fire lorries. And needful had been done in this budget. We have got a provision of 200 million rupees to buy 20 lorries for the fire services department. Yeah. I'm not talking about lorries at the moment. I'm talking about the uh, equipment que les, que les, que les pompiers mettent sur eux, pas des, pas des camions. Is he going to order, or has he ordered, since he had meetings ha, for six months now, has he ordered personal protective equipment for the 240 firemen who are putting their lives at risk every day to save people who are uh, involved in fires? Yes. Has he ordered? Yes. Madam Speaker, information provided to me. So, upon request of uh, DCF administration, so we have information which I'm uh, providing. First, there have been uh, 75 sets of firefighting tunic and leggings, both for an amount of 1.2 million rupees, which have been delivered on 13th April 2017. Second, there have been 200 pairs of firefighting boots purchased for the sum of 758,000. Uh, 540 uh, rupees uh, delivered on 13th April 2017. There have been 200 units of firefighting gloves for an amount of 344,540 rupees delivered on 13th April 2017. I won't table, I will uh, explain everything in the list. There have been, no, no, you're asking for questions, I'm giving the details. Don't be in a hurry. Wait. So we have got also uh, 125 units of firefighting helmets delivered on 29th May 2017 for an amount of 790,625 rupees. There had been uh, 60 units of semi-dry suit with separate hood delivered on 9th May 2017. There have been 60 units of panoramic mask without nose pocket delivered on 9th May 2017. There had been 60 helmets delivered on 9th May 2017. 60 uh, water rescue vests delivered on 9th May 2017. Uh, 60 boots for fins delivered on 9th May 2017. 60 life jacket with harness delivered on 9th May 2017. 60 safety rope delivered on 9th May 2017. 60 lifeline rope with drum delivered on 9th May 2017. 60 waterproof bag delivered on 9th May 2017. 60 uh, uh, rescue knife with safe delivered on 9th May 2017. All, I can add, but all firefighters are equipped with uh, firefighting equipment. There is no lack of such equipment as mentioned by the leader of the opposition. Speaker, I, I, wasn't, I didn't ask for his car in La Boutique. Still, Madam Speaker, there are 702 firemen. If you buy 200, then obviously 500 are missing. Also, Madam Speaker, I would like to ask, I would like to ask the minister, when were uniforms, and this is a precise question, when were uniforms renewed for the whole 7 and 2? Because my information is that uniforms that they are using 
are two years old. Madam Speaker, provision has already, already been made, but uh, I, I want to clarify one thing, that the information provided before by the leader of the opposition is wrong with regards uh, to, yeah. So new uniforms is being procured and tenders are already launched. And speaker, so it's supposed to Madam Speaker, no, but that's because it's because it's in French or something like that. Madam Speaker, it confirms my information that for two years now, the, the les pompiers, ces mises une fine vie, have already uh, uh, old shirts, etc., uh, canons, etc. For two years, they have been waiting for them. Madam Speaker, I want to come now to fire engines. Fire engines. My information, all of it seems accurate at the moment. Up, up to now, Madam Speaker, I must say, my information is that six, only 16 fire engines are operational out of 35 on, in stock, on, in, in, in the ownership of the fire service, 16 out of 35, this is a disaster for Mauritius. Madam Speaker, such thing is not, it not happened only six months or two and a half years because he was in government for the past two years. He was in government for the past 10 years. What has he done as Minister of Finance? Nothing he has done. Our, our Honorable Minister, Prime Minister, Minister of Finance, for the first time, he had made a provision of 200 million rupees to buy 20 lorries. And, and information that I have got with me, Madam Speaker, out, out of 41, not 35, your information is not correct. I am giving the right information. Go and do your homework. But out of 41, fire fighting vehicles so we have got 18 fire fighting vehicles which are in operation because you know why because the previous government had done nothing to buy vehicles for the malicious fire and rescue service and don't come here to give me that son this government I, i'm so happy i left this government has been in power three years and still living in cloud cuckoo land of, of before 2014 madam speaker we are talking, we are talking, madam, of fire engines. You can add, obviously, the uh, turntable ladders, etc. This is how you get to a bit more. Out of the three turntable ladders, one has been repaired. Well done, he managed to repair one. Still two turntable uh, ladders have not been repaired. When? It's a nice question this time. When are you going to repair it? Madam Speaker, it's true that one tenable ladder is in operation. I have gone on site, I have visited, I have seen that it's really 100% operation. And I have, when while while convening my last meeting, I have asked them to do needful to, to get the second one repaired. And the second one, yes, I have been told that a, a technical assessment is required for, for overhaul, repair of hydraulic platform, and certification has per manufacturer's instruction. Uh, uh, My last question. Operation. Yes, time is already over. I hmm? have already given three additional yes. minutes, so I'll give you your last question. Maybe the speaker. Yep. Last question is this. I'm going to ask whether you'll agree to two requests. Firstly, that there'll be new legislation coming very soon. Next week, I'll reiterate that, so that we can put the residential building and the power which will ensure the safety of everyone living there. That's the first thing. That there'll be a complete audit, also made a real audit, not a, a fancy audit that like has been pretended, and I'll come back to that regarding the fire service. And finally, Madam Speaker, I would ask, ask the Minister whether he will arrange for immediate closure of the Jagu building, of the Godiva building, and of the MPF building in Rosil, because they are potential fire traps with no fire certificate. Madam Speaker, I have convened several meetings with, uh, with the Mauritius Fire Rescue Service Department. I am looking after the safety of each and every citizen of this country. Has a responsible minister of this government, 
has a responsible government, we are going to do our best for the for safety of each and every one uh, of this country. Time is over.